Um, so these are cool. I actually wanted this for a project. So we have those USB-C to DC cables that like you plug them into a USB-C power supply and um, you get a uh, DC voltage out. Let me show each one as you're talking. Yeah, but one of the things is that like, um, let's see where I put it. Is you know like oh here it is so I have a um like a laptop power supply maybe you can just um just show me for a second you want to go to the uh uh no actually show me oh just us okay go yeah because all this kind of big so I use the power supply and I can't you can't plug into the this is like attached permanently but then you have um USB C at the end so I was like I need something that has the right that just will plug onto the end here now I know why you got these I was yeah. wondering. So if you that go, makes a lot of sense because you have this very high powered USB C thing. Yeah. And you want to go, and it, it just goes straight to USB C. You want to go. Common. Yeah, you kind of want to go the other way. Yeah. So if you go to the overhead, I'll show you. Yeah. I'll show you. I understand. So you, uh, you, you know, well, I mean, it's not plugged in, but pretend it was. It's for your laptop. Um, you put that you, but you have, there's actually often like, oh, for, yeah. but maybe you have the, the Raspberry Pi USB C yeah. or whatever. So it's USB C, so it can go either way. And then um, you just get a uh, 2.1 millimeter, 5 millimeter, 5.5 uh, millimeter output. And then this will just give you power delivery output up to three amps. I'll say that the cables are a little more expensive because they also have an eMark chip that'll get you five amps. But if you only need up to three amps, although to be honest, you could probably draw a little bit more than three and like most won't bother. Um, and then you can then use this. So, you know, another thing is, I, you know, I'm starting to get used to like, I now only carry one power supply when like I go to work or travel. And then I just have different tips and adapters. Yeah. So it's like, I don't have to carry like 15. This cables. is neat because the, you know, the, the, the goal of getting the USB-C kind of happened, but you still need like all, you still need this though. Right. Because so many devices still have you can DC carry power. You carry. This is great. They're very tiny. So yeah, I have, okay. I have like one of the, you know, cause I have something that's nine volts that I'm carrying with me. I just put the nine volt adapter in. So it says on the edge which one it is. So we have five volts, nine volts, 12 volts. Um, and then we're going to have 20. I know it's like, where's 20? The 21 didn't ship quite yet. But um, yeah, so it's a great way. Or if you do have a USB seek, you know, and you want one of our cables that's extra long or whatever, you could just use this on the end and then like, boom, you've got DC Good power. idea. Good okay. idea. A lot of people have these little teeny, this is the tiny section of the show, teeny, tiny, tiny. Okay, so Sorry. you might have these, but what do you want to do? You want to put them on this. That's right. So let's say you have brick compatible, Lego brick compatible, compatible, not using the term mark term correctly, um, builds, and you want to add robotics, but you don't necessarily want to drop a couple hundred bucks on like Mindstorms or, or Spike. They're totally great, but you just want, like, you just want something small. So this is um, designed by Noah and Pedro, and you can, there's two versions. This is the horizontal version, and you see there's two little um, screws that come with the servo. You can just use your own screws. You can just mount it on, and then on the bottom, dun, 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 is brick compatible, like, circle dots, and they plug in very nicely into your bricks. We also have a version, you're like, wait, I want the yeah. other way, vertical. We have a version that's vertical. It's a little bit more because it's more plastic. These are uh, resin printed, also with dots. And then you can easily use, we have actually a couple servos. We have the micro servos that like go back and forth like 90, 120 degrees. But we also have DC motors in a micro oh, servo body. Right. So if you want something that rotates continuously, like a DC oh, motor, you have to have an H bridge. We can use those. Smart. We also have analog feedback micro. The micro servo size is very popular, and so this is smart. You have a couple options. We have metal gear, plastic gear, analog feedback, DC motor, whatever micro servos. Um, it'll fit. Yeah, we know that they fit ours. They'll probably fit anything that's called like a you know nine G micro servo. Um, pick them up so we have one of each. And the bricks and the servo not included. That's right. You all know that, but the guy will the guy will do it, and we'll have to deal with him. Okay. okay. Um, Guess what? Next up. Floppy bunny. Floppy bunny. Yeah. Um, on the background of this is some disk drive sounds because... Um, I oh, wanted to do a couple sorry. floppy projects and people were like, where do I get floppy drives? Well, I found some floppy drives. So they're not new. I gotta, no, I sorry, have, folks. Not new. They're not new. And then these are little dust. This one's one of the nicer looking ones. Ew. They're upcycled they're no longer made but they're they've been tested so we've like verified that they work we put a floppy drive in, you know we have a little floppy tester to make sure that can review yeah. disk um, and generate the right signals um they're upcycled they are many decades old but they do seem to function 
Um, these are really good when you can't, you don't want to use one of those USB floppy drives, which are, by the way, also using upcycled floppies, yeah. like top floppies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. These are from like desktop computers. So you'll need something like a floppy feather wing. You'll need a 30, uh, four pin IDC cable. You'll need a Berg power adapter that gives you five volts, like one to two amps. So it's like, these are non-trivial to use. You'll also need floppy disks, which are not included. But if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Uh, so the good news is they all work. Um, there is no guarantee of which exact model you're going to get. Yeah. They seem to almost all be Sony MPF 920s, but I can't guarantee it. Mm. Um, so if you're looking for ones of particular flux, reactivity, timing, da, 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 they're, yeah. they're kind of all Sony, but look, Sony 920. If you're that specific, you're probably not going to get them from us anyway. Right. So, okay. But. If you don't want to deal with eBay, you just want to get a floppy that you know, a drive that you know works. They're tested, yeah. it works, and we're going to do a lot of stuff with it. Okay. Get you back. Next up, um, this is part of the, you know, start of the show type products, but we're going to get to a couple first. Hearts. Hearts. And. Spheres. Spheres. And then the start of the show tonight, besides you, Lady Ada, our community, our team, the open source world, everybody who makes and shares and makes this world a better place. And cool to live in is the star ones adafruit stars stars that's one of the stars star stars adafruit stars um yeah, yeah so. neopixel so um aaron requested these yeah um, these are cool so these are exactly what they look like they're a little neopixel dust but they're encased in like this translucent resin yeah um they're everyday neopixels and they've got this like super flexible cord in between I'm not gonna say they're waterproof, but like you could use them outside as long as you're not like dunking them in yeah, the water. Yeah, I can never say waterproof. Probably water. Probably water is. I learned my lesson because I've said like you know something is in case of waterproof. And somebody's like, I put it. I in bought a salt them water for tank. my. I bought them for my salt swimming pool. Yeah. And it was in there for a year, and now I'm angry. And now it's like it's starting to. Fill. And I'm salty too. And they're salty. Okay, so go to the overhead. Show these off. Um. So like I said, super flexy. Uh, there were other shapes, but to be honest, only these three shapes look good because you want to have fairly good coverage of all of the, the plastic. Um, it is brighter on one side, but like both are like, you know, fairly bright. From far away, you won't notice. Um, six inches apart. These are good for like, you want to decorate a room. This could be really fun or a costume um, or make some like fun jewelry or your bicycle. Um, like again, I would not leave these outside for extended periods of time. You could have it outside getting covered maybe or if you're okay with them eventually <clears throat> possibly failing because they're not ip rated and then this uh soft flexible very soft very flexible um stranded wire they come with uh jst sm connectors on both sides uh so this is a socket black is ground green is data red is power um and i'm just driving mine from like a, you know a cutie pie we sell the cable, so if you you can plug and play them to extend them. Which in fact, maybe I'll I'll do. Although I don't know, maybe I'll get the hearts. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna let our kids uh, their kid plant these in our room. Well. Yeah, this would be like fun. Yeah. Okay, so then this is hearts. Um. And to be honest, I don't remember what I programmed these with, how many pixels, but they're 20 pixels per. Okay, so now you know, the hearts are lit up. So the hearts will kind of keep too. And then the spheres um, are also pretty good. Spheres. <clears throat> Although, to be honest, I think the stars look best and the hearts look also quite good. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the stars. And then. <clears throat> This is the spheres, and the spheres are cool. The spheres actually are very even. Like they're kind of, actually, sorry, the spheres kind of look the best because they're the most even, um, but like they're spherical. So I don't know, not, not as fun shaped maybe, unless you really like spheres. So, um, ball stars and hearts, yeah. neopixels, use any neopixel code with them, they work. Uh, they work, you know, best at five volts because you do, because they're diffused, you'll want five volts. But um, you can kind of drive them on 3.3 volts if you absolutely have to. Okay. And that is new products. Yay.